Good morning, mm. Peanut. Mm. What's the matter with you? Mm. What's the matter? Mm. Is that you? Mm. No? Mm. Come on. Mm. Hi. It looks like she's fine. The other day when um when um when we were pulling weeds, Desmond and I, the cat came in and started like I think she broke it. <laughs> Gray cats came in and just sat in the flower pot that wasn't being used. Oh. Just like laying around and just fell asleep and I was very worried. Cats like to sleep inside things like that. She really wants to make noise. Yeah. And she is making noise. <laughs> that noise. Yeah. Yeah. Good morning, gentlemen. Terry. How are you, buddy? So we moved the goats over here so the pig could have that side yard. So now they've got all this fresh stuff to eat here. And they are going for it. Howdy, guys. <clears throat> Charlie. Charlie and chocolate chip, come here. Come here, babies. Hey, you want love? Do you want love, little guys? Huh? You want love, little boys? I want to touch the babies. Come here, babies. Chocolate chip. Are you licking me? You boys, you boys. Come here. No, you want it? You're gonna steal it? We also gave him alfalfa. <laughs> so they can have a little extra nutrition. Get down. What you doing? <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Charlie. Chocolate chip, you little sweetie pie. Look at your face. Look at your face. Charlie, can I get some love, little boy? Can I get some love, Charlie? They're licking me. Oh my gosh, stop. Dixie blue girl. Hi, Dixie girl. The kids have been camping out for like four or five nights out there. So that's where we have the electric fencing. And the goats went through and got it all. So what we want to do is um, whenever our breeding pair is a couple weeks together, we'll separate them and put put him over here for a little bit so he can tear all that up. Hello, piggy pigs. How you doing this morning? Wilbur, what you doing? You guys ate all the weeds we gave you, didn't you? So we put a ball in there, pigs like to play. 
Looks like they're trying to make a little bog here. Ah, Wilbur. So, did you hear that? We have a cabinet stored up here for our kitchen remodel. And she decided to move her kitties in here, right, as we were moving the pigs over. Chicks. It looks like they're pretty much all feathered out. Maybe one more week. I turned off two of the lights last night and just left the one on. And uh, I think what we might do is take this whole thing and move it into the chicken coop for a couple more weeks. And then we'll let them go after that. Maybe three weeks. We'll see how big they are. I still want the other bigger chickens. Dixie, get out of here. I don't want the bigger chickens to pick on them. Hi. Today we are using the Prairie Homestead's sourdough recipe and I don't have a Dutch oven yet so I'm just using a Corningware and the lid. I had to use cornmeal on the bottom, but I can't even find any in the store right now. Okay, I just got back from getting my toe x-rayed. And they said it's not broken, but it is like sprained pretty bad. So I still need to elevate an ice and they want me to walk on it. And that sucks it hurts really bad. Um, but since it's not broken, I can walk on it, which is a good thing for work at least. So as soon as I can tolerate the pain. So I have the whole rest of the week off, so that that is awesome because I'm going to have like four more days um, 
to recover before I have to go to work. So hopefully I'll be able to like bear full amount of weight on it because I have to lift people, y'all. <laughs> Gotta lift people at work. It's not just like walking around. And sometimes I gotta get into like some weird situations, but I think that as long as the doctor's cool with it, um, I can just, instead of being like one of the first people to hop in and try to lift someone, I can be like the last resort person on scene. I guess that will work. And then if I need to do something crazy, I will. But anyway, I'm hobbling around still. I say to put weed on it. Hurts to put weight on it, but I'm trying. Anyway, so basically that's it for this video. <laughs> Pretty much what the consensus on that is. I've been, you know, before I left, I got in the shower and I had a couple other things to do. And so I've been on this foot for a while and you put it up. So anyway. I will link the recipe to the Prairie Homestead's sourdough bread um, in the description box. And I will also link, I have a blog post about sourdough starter and it's got links in there and stuff. I'll also put that in the description if you guys are interested in sourdough bread and sourdough starter. So. We'll just do that. And we did move the kittens, so we'll have to check on them in the next video. I'll show you. We moved the chicken or the kittens since we're not using that electrified fencing with the um, horse trailer. That one right in the back here, right there. We moved them into there into a Tupperware because she kept, they kept like getting falling out of the place that she put them in in those cupboards that I showed you in the pig pen and I'm worried that if they fall all the way down the pigs are going to accidentally kill them or something or they're just going to get stuck in a place that neither no one can get to because there's like a bunch of stuff in there so anyway that's it thank you for watching this video um life again has happened here as it does and I will see you in the next one. Give me a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bells to get more um, videos like this. I'll see you next time. Bye.